Yo, what's going on guys? Horcrux here. Welcome back to the channel and before we begin today's video, as always, a huge shout out to my patrons. You guys are absolutely amazing as is everyone who watches the content I put out. So without further ado, let's hop right into today's video. Yo, what's going on guys? Horcrux here. Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be going over some special interactions between Dark Convergence and Hrothgar because the entire time I've been using these two sets, they just seem very inconsistent and I couldn't really figure out why until I spent a couple hours yesterday actually learning like the inner mechanics of these sets. So in this video, I'm just kind of show you guys what I discovered and it's actually pretty surprising. They're, they're not nearly as overpowered or, or broken as you may think, or, or they might be just as broken as you think, but to see for yourself. So kind of go over the sets here. I'll have a, a, little, a little guy here on screen, but essentially Hrothgar stunning or immobilizing your enemies causes them to burst with frost magic. Uh, that's pretty much the basics of the ability. So in my head, I was always curious as to why Dark Convergence actually does not proc it because it technically stuns and immobilizes for, for a moment. I know I have these on a back bar right now and front bar uh, set up. I know you guys have made comments, but yo, Horcrux, you have to have them both bars slotted. No, I did both of these trials, actually all these trials with both of these sets on both bars and the inter interactions between the two were still exactly the same. So Dark Convergence. Casting abilities that leave an effect on the ground will create an area that applies a 60% snare and pulls enemies every two seconds after one second delay and stun them for one second. So this does trigger your CC immunity, so therefore it is a stun, but this actually does not trigger Rothgar the way you think. It can trigger Rothgar, and I'm going to show you three ways that these two sets interact with each other because i think running these on the same build is very devastating so hrothgar i mean excuse me dark conversions pulls everyone in close and then you proc rothgar on top of that so the aoe is hitting everyone in the dark conversions proc it's super devastating but you guys need to understand that it doesn't interact the way you think it does so for example i will put on lingering flare here uh, just as a really good baseline to kind of show you guys what I'm talking about here So we'll put a oh, revealing flare whatever it's called so revealing flare toss it on the ground over here th These evokers nothing happens. It stuns them uh, Really nothing happens the dark conversion proc goes off, you know, yada yada, whatever now You may say to yourself well you have to do damage in order to get the uh, the effect to happen Okay, well, let's use fire room for example did damage, nothing. No Rothgar rock whatsoever. Now, there is a brief window at which you need to damage people in order to get the Rothgar to proc. N not even necessarily damaging people. I'll show you another special interaction here in just a second. So on these scams here, we're going to toss Lingering Flare. We're going to toss the Golfing Flames. Look, nothing happened. The, the, the Frost didn't go off. You don't see the, the chilled status effect on them. Okay, so it's not looking too good for Dark Convergence's Rothgar, but there is a trick to get this to work. So let's toss the Lingering Flare yet again. If you wait for this CC to pop up, now look, it triggers. You have to wait for the stun characters to pop up. And as long as you do any follow-up damage, any direct follow-up damage afterwards, it will proc Rothgar. Uh, this can be engulfing flames this can be literally any damage it does not necessarily have to be a, another snare or anything of that nature so it's really interesting if you do it too soon we'll do it one more time do it too soon engulfing flames nothing happens all right dude he just gave me the build <laughs> and i really find this interesting because a lot of my bursts Especially on the DK, I've been kind of revolving around this combo and it's not been working out. So let's do it again. Wait for the stun. Boom. Now it procs. And, and again, guys, this is not because I have back bar DC from bar Hrothgar. It, it, it does not matter how you have these set up. Okay. Now, a very popular combo is a... I don't think any of these guys have enough health to really test this. So um, hopefully he doesn't die. So let's toss the Lingering Flare and leap immediately. Luckily, it procs. 
the reason this is able to proc is because the stun counter popped up. So if you're going in for your DK leap combo, right, you have to wait for the stun letters to pop up. I know a lot of combos, people just want to toss this down, boom, leap right there. It won't work. It will not proc Rothgar, you will not get the proper burst off that you need. So I just thought that was a very kind of niche interaction between these two sets. One more interaction I'm going to show you with DC and Rothgar. So you see this little scamp right here? It actually procs Rothgar before any damage even hits the person that it stuns. For example, let's toss this over here. It looks like it hit him. It looks like the... Uh, the fireball hitting from the destruction staff. So let's do something a little bit closer. For example, this uh, this blood master right here. So let's try this one more time. Hrothgar actually procs. So let's go ahead and toss this. Wait for this done. Do you guys see that? Do you see the difference? Give you guys a second. Play it back. I'll put it in slow motion, you know, whatever we have to do, let's find uh, one single enemy because it's much easier to see it on one single guy instead of uh, two or three here. We'll try this interaction one more time. So we're going to toss out Lingering Flare, but look, it procs the damage before the light attack even reaches. Actually, I just completely screwed that up. It's a great example, Horcrux, I know, I know. Let's find some other undead. Over here, yeah, he looks a little a little tweaky. Uh, this will do just fine. So we'll throw down our DC. Boom. Before the fireball hits them, it actually procs rock our I'm not sure this is intended or whether it's just kind of really crappy coding on uh, Zasa's end, but Think about this when you're factoring it into your builds. If you're missing a burst combo or you think Hrothgar should be proccing a, a when it should and it doesn't and maybe consider you know something like this maybe an interaction that you like this is happening um i can't say you know that there's other sets like this i'm sure that kind of happens they give you like a little mini stun or a mini pool that would kind of creates you know a, a very similar interaction between the two but this is just my findings and, and i'm not gonna lie to you guys i've messed up a lot of 1vx's throwing out the dark convergence and leaping just too early so that's just something to think about when you guys are theory crafting your builds. I know it's been, uh, you know, three weeks into the patch now and you guys have pretty much kind of narrowed down, you know, what's what. But, you know, this will be coming out on console here very, very shortly. And I don't want you guys to, like, get discouraged or, hey, this is not working or, you know, anything along that nature. Just know that there are kind of special mechanics between uh, the, the way Rothgar. Well, we would say, say Rothgar, for example. I, I think DC is working eh, as intended, I suppose. But Rothgar there's some special interactions i just think you guys should be aware about that so that's why i'm making this video apologies for rambling <laughs> again if you guys have made it to the end of this video i would really appreciate a like and subscribe if you like content like this you know special interaction between sets and you know what actually works i actually have one for the sorcerer i'm wanting to put out interactions of like eg and with the the sort passes which are pretty interesting you guys should definitely enable the bell icon if you guys will be a part of that and see it firsthand. And also, I am do having a dueling guild. I'm putting that together today as well as a Discord. If you all want to be a part of that, please at me. Is Olockerdo. I will leave my at in the description below if you guys want to add me. Uh, we can duel. I'm actually the guild I'm putting together is just for dueling and small PvP. So if you guys want to be a part of that, it'd be awesome. Love to have you. And yeah. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.